Um, let's have Laura Koonsberg from the BBC. Thank you, Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Um, despite your answer just then, you said at the beginning of your speech people get fed up when politicians promise one thing but deliver something else. The ban on benefits you proposed will now be a limit. The end to child benefit payments abroad will now be payments at different rates. Treaty change that you hope for is now a rather vague promise that it might happen in the future. Do you admit, surely, that you have had to water down some of your demands? And can you say to the public, hand on heart, that these proposals will actually cut the number of EU migrants coming to live in this country? I can say, hand on heart, I've delivered the commitments that I've made in my manifesto, and I think the whole country knows that if you, for instance, pay people uh, five, ten thousand pounds additional to their wages, then that is a draw to Britain. And that's one of the reasons why we've seen such high levels of migration and movement. So I think if you look at any of the areas, and of course this is a negotiation, this has to be agreed by 27 uh, other countries. This is something no government or country has managed before to start a renegotiation from a standing start, bring it to a conclusion, and hold a referendum. And as I said, people said to me, you'll never actually hold that referendum. That's a promise politicians make and they never keep. We've legislated for that referendum. It will happen. People said you'll never get a proper renegotiation going. We have, and you can now see the results. And across all the areas, whether it is greater controls on welfare, no more something for nothing, whether it is hardwiring competitiveness into the EU, whether it is making sure the pound sterling is treated fairly inside the EU, all of those things have, got, have been addressed in a proper way in this document. And people said that wouldn't happen, and it has, and people will, I hope, after February 18th, will be able to take into account not just that, but take into account all of the arguments about Britain's future, whether we're better off in a reformed European Union or outside it. So I think this is the culmination of some very hard work, some very tough negotiation, and negotiation, we were told frequently, would not deliver the results that it has.